What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's breakdown video. Now as you guys know, I like to do these every once in a while whenever I find a FNAF fan game that catches my attention that I want to share with all of you guys and in this case, we're going to be talking about the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Now this is a part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative which is actually made by Scott. So this is like an official unofficial FNAF fan game, I'm going to link a chart that Fiznom made, which is the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, down below, and basically it kind of explains things, but they're official, but not official, but they are official, it's very confusing, like I said, check out the chart, but this is Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, and it is basically a remake of Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but from the ground up, and it looks absolutely incredible, we're going to be checking out some of the different teasers that have been posted, along with a short teaser video, and we're going to be breaking it all down for you guys in today's video, and it's going to be a very, very exciting one, because I've seen these images, and and yeah, I'm super excited. And I know this developer too, Fiznom. We, if you guys don't know, he created Pork Chops Horror Show and stuff like that, or he's still creating that. And that game, you know, we played the Pork Chops Adventure. It was absolutely incredible. One of my favorite FNAF fan games of all time. And this is his newest game, so I am extremely hyped for this one. So let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to help me reach 2.5 million subscribers, be sure to smash like on the video down below. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps spread the video out to everyone else. So if you guys want to do that, go ahead and do so. But let's get into this. So we're going to start with this first teaser image right here. And it's just, it's just titled Welcome Back. And of course, it's got Freddy and two more sets of eyes behind him. And I mean, you can kind of guess the first one, the first set of eyes, obviously Freddy, the back set, probably Bonnie and Chica. And uh, it just says plus right there. Now, this is obviously called Finance Freddy's Plus, so it, it makes sense. And on the bottom right, you guys can see it is copyrighted 2020 Scott Coffin. So if you guys had any questions, you were wondering, okay, is this official? Yes, it is literally copyrighted by Scott Coffin. And this was our first look at the game. Now, this was posted in August 27th of 2020, so quite a while ago. And since then, we've got a lot better looks at the animatronics, or at least one of them. And uh, yeah, this is our first look, though. A really creepy shot. Obviously, they're covered in shadows. They've got the red eyes. And you can just kind of see, you know, the, the skin on, or the fabric on Freddy's suit looks a little bit different than what we're used to. At least, you know, in terms of FNAF 1 Freddy. But that was really all we've seen up until this point. So just a very, you know, short little teaser as to what to expect and, you know, what's to come. So that's that's basically all there is to talk about that one. Now, the next thing we got here, and this was on September 12th, this is called Connection Error. And this is actually a teaser video for the game. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and check it out right now. All right, let's see. Connection Error. I've actually never seen this. Oh. Okay, we're in FNAF 1. So this would be our first look at the dining area, right? So we know there's going to be an animatronic showing up somewhere in the darkness back there. Oh, the, the hats are like glitching out and everything. Is that Pirate Cove? I think that's what that is. Or it's like stars hanging out, down from the ceiling. Okay. Something's going to happen, dude. <laughs> so it's going to go to the show stage or something? No. It's only about two minutes long. Some movement. Is that no? It's too hard to tell if there's something back there. It's so like covered in shadows. Okay. Something definitely moved though. We heard it. Oh, there's Bonnie. Nice, dude. I love that. That gives off FNAF 1 vibes so heavily. That's like updated old FNAF 1 vibes. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh man. I love that. I love the feeling that that gives off, okay? That creepy, unsettling factor. That's awesome. Oh, no. Is he going to be gone now? What's going to happen? He's gone. He's gone. Of course. He's gone. Oh, great. Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't think it's going to end with a jump scare. That doesn't seem like something that they would do. Oh, oh, okay, camera disabled connection error, and that's where it ends. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop up what I'm looking at right now on screen for you guys, and we're gonna go ahead and break this down here. I mean, there's really not much to discuss here, just the overall vibe, so this is probably what, you know, the, the dining area is gonna look like that we're all used to, and uh, our first look at Bonnie right there, and that is just such a creepy look at him. I don't know what they did to him, but I think it's the eyes or something. Something about that is just very unsettling to me. I don't know why. And then, of course, it just kind of goes back and he's gone. And then, well, the main thing that we really want to look at is this ending right here where we actually get to see Bonnie. Okay, so if we pause it right before he shows up here. There we go. You can only see him for like a split second. It's very quick. There it is right there. Oh, that's creepy. That's got some like FNAF VHS, VHS tape vibes to it. I think that's probably what they were going for. Or it could just be, you know, like the original. But, oh, man, I love that. Look at that. I'm trying to get like a... There it is right there. 
So he just gets real up close. And I love the, I love the fact that there wasn't just like, like a dun, like a jump scare sound effect. It's just like a typical, there's no big noise. It just shows up. Look at that. It just shows up. It cuts the tape. And it says camera disabled connection error. So I'm guessing this is going to be what actually happens in the game then. I mean, obviously we've had connection errors before, but you can see this red triangle. That's the camera we were looking at probably, at least from that angle. Yeah, that's that camera right there. And obviously, if Bonnie shows up there, he's going to cause a connection error, and then you're going to have to go to a different camera. So it looks like he's probably changing how connection errors work, but I don't know. This could just be a simple teaser, and that could be it with it. But I think that's about it for this teaser right here. Yeah, so he disables the camera, and it just ends right there. Now, this was posted quite a while ago, so, you know, just a short little snippet of what's to come. That was in September um, of, uh, obviously, 2020, so about, you know, two months ago or something like that. So this is the, the big stuff that we're going to be talking about now. So this was posted on October 31st, so obviously Halloween, about four days ago, and and we have three teasers for what this game is going to actually look like, and they're pretty big. So we're going to go ahead and start with this first one right here, and it's our first look at what Freddy Fazbear is going to look like in the official FNAF 1 remake, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I honestly like it. I mean, I saw some comments that were kind of like, oh, he's got pants. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does he have pants? But... I mean, I really like it. I don't know how... Okay, I was going to say, how does he not rip those pants? But no, he's got like slits in it right there. So that makes sense. But this is our look at Freddy Fazbear from FNAF 1 or, or FNAF Plus, I should call it now. So we obviously haven't seen Bonnie or Chica yet, but that just kind of tells us, I'm assuming that the other animatronics are probably going to have new designs too, or it could just be Freddy. But he's got a little like, you know, a little jacket on. He's got his bow tie, so that carries over. His hat carries over. And so does the red line. I think there was a red line on it before. I could be wrong about that. But it looks like that's definitely new too. And of course, his little jacket right there has some red you know lines throughout it too to kind of match the hat and the pants i mean why does he have pants i don't know why not <laughs> you know put some pants on that guy why is he running around without pants that's the real question so uh i mean you can see this is probably obviously our first look at freddy fazbear then behind him you can kind of see maybe that's what the show stage is gonna look like if i had to take a guess i mean it could just be you know just for background purposes but you can kind of see, you know, it, it's definitely a new show stage behind him. And our, our guest, probably our first look at what that's going to be. Um, but yeah, so that's our look at Freddy Fazbear. I mean, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? And not only that, but he's got like teeth that are just completely shut. And I like it a lot. I, I could dig this design a lot. I mean, honestly, like I said, this is coming from Fiznom. And I've played, you know, his other games. I trust that he knows what he's doing. He's going to make this creepy. So I, I, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I mean, hey, change up the design. Do something big. Do it all. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it regardless. So that's our first look at Freddy Fazbear. Now for the next teaser we got here, this is the party poster, the Let's Party poster. And this is obviously, you know, we've seen this poster before, but now it's been completely redone um, from the original one. And it's got that new version of Freddy Fazbear on it. And, you know, he's got his new little suit and that's really all there is to this. And of course, you also get a look at the hallway and what that's possibly going to look like. And man, I just, I really, I can't wait to see some gameplay on this, man. Like we've get, we've, we've only been getting these very small teasers and these very small looks at the game, but I'm just looking forward to some gameplay or something along those lines because man, this looks so, so, so impressive so far. So the Let's Party poster with Freddy Fazbear. And then for the final teaser we have here, this is some kind of, oh, this must be Bonnie's uh, storage closet, right? I would assume so. It, it looks almost very heavily, you know, compared... It looks like it's from FNAF 6, which is interesting. Um, you know, like that back alley vibe for some reason. I don't know if it's like the coloring on it or what, but something about this just gives me FNAF 6, like, dumpster vibes. <laughs> if that makes any sense. That's not, that doesn't exactly sound like a compliment, but it is. So you guys can see we've got a lost and found sign right there. And Helpy is actually on it, so that's fun. He's actually going to be making an appearance, you know, in this game in a very small way, it looks like. And uh, I would be curious what that says on that, that lost and found sign right there. So that's probably just items around the pizzeria, right? And then right to the right of that, though, you have a missing person sign. Have you seen him? And if you have, call 188-Fazbear, or that's probably what it says. And it looks like the face has obviously been torn away. Which is interesting. Why would they do that? Hmm, whose face is that? Who's been missing? I'm sure that'll be probably, you know, something to do with the lore of the game. Um, and then, of course, we have the vacuum. Oh, my. Is that the vacuum from... I've seen that vacuum before in, like, Super FNAF. And, you know, obviously other games too, but I think that's that vacuum that we've seen in, uh, you know, Ultimate Custom Night and stuff like that. Um, now, in that box right there, you guys can see some more toys and stuff like that. And there's actually something with Freddy Fazbear's face on it, along with a shoe, a lunchbox, and an alarm clock. So those might be something to do with the game's lore or something like that. Obviously, there's no telling. <laughs> that could literally just be a shoe, a lunchbox, and an alarm clock. But hey, guys, break that down, all right? <laughs> Get that into the lore, quick. All right, so uh, we also have a balloon in there and just some different spray balls and stuff like that. And a pizza box, which has Freddy Fazbear's face on it. I was hoping that was going to be Foxy, but no, that's definitely Freddy Fazbear. So that is currently really all we have on FNAF Plus. 
And like I said, this is an official, you know, thing that's provided by Scott. It's all official. And I think they're getting, you know, funding from Scott. So it's going to be called the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, like I said earlier. And basically, I looked up the list of games that are going to be included and what's going to be getting made. And they go as follows. So Emil, the creator of Five Nights at Candies, will be making Five Nights at Candies 4. And Nixon will be making the Joy of Creation Ignited Collection. Kane will be making the Pop Goes Evergreen game. John Jonochrome, I probably said that wrong, will be making One Night at Flumpty's 3. And Fiznom will be making a remake slash reimagining of the first Five Nights at Freddy's game named Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. So we're going to be getting, it looks like, five games. And uh, yeah, these are going to be some pretty insane things. I, I don't know. Do you guys want to see me break down all the other games on this list? Because they, they're all going to have these huge remakes and they're all going to be pretty insane if I had to tell you a guess. So if you guys want to see some more videos of me, of me breaking down all these other games and stuff like that, just let me know. Leave a like or any other video down below and we'll definitely do some more of these. But yeah, I think if I had to choose what I'm looking forward to the most it would be Five Nights at Candy's 4, obviously. Um, Pop Goes Evergreen because, you know, that would be nice to have see a budget behind it and stuff like that. I think that's going to be be really nice. Um, Jonah Chrome's, you know, One Night at Flumpty's 3, that's a classic, uh, you know, obviously One Night at Flumpty's. Uh, and then, of course, Viznom's game, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Plus. That That's definitely the ones I'm most looking forward to, just because they're completely, you know, reimagined games. They're completely new. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, the Drive Creation Ignite Collection is going to be a lot of fun, too, and I'm sure that's probably going to have some more bonus features and stuff like that. So, basically, I mean, all of them I'm really looking forward to, but definitely my top picks, Five Nights at Candy's 4 and uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Those are my top, top picks that I'm definitely looking forward to the most. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here here. Overall, I really like what I'm looking or I really like what I'm seeing here, and I'm definitely excited for the future of all these games, especially now that they're going to have a budget behind them. I think they're going to be incredible. The jump scare wise, gameplay wise, you know, these are all developers that know what they're doing. They've made tons of FNAF fan games. They have experience, and they're also going to be working with Scott and all that and stuff like that, you know, so they're, they're going to, these are going to be good. These are going to be a lot of fun, and they're going to be good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did leave a like or video down below, and of course, if you're new to channel, just subscribe button and little bell icon to be first videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.